Before installing the LSM software, check that the MDC-RJ45 connection on the S-Box is seated securely. Also check that Visual Studio 2013 redistributable package and .NET Framework 4.5 are installed. Run the LSM installer. Click the Next button through all the options, then click Finish. When the application is launched for the first time, it will prompt the user to set a password. Enter the desired password two times and click Start. If the user does not want to set a password, check the Don't Use Password checkbox. In this case, when the application is launched, it will not prompt the user to log in. In this video, the Don't Use Password option is being used. To add a connection manually, enter the IP address of the S box into the IP address field. Set the ID range of the number of cabinets you have connected. Note the S box is always addressed as ID number 1, so your cabinet range will start at 2 to however many cabinets you have connected. Click the Add button to add the connection to the list. Press the blue connect button to connect to the S box. The auto search button will automatically search for all the powered on S box connection settings located on the same network. All the available connections will be placed in the connection list. From the connection list, the user can edit the connection name, the ID range, the auto set ID, and even delete connections. The Connection section shows the position and layout of each cabinet with respect to the output source displayed from the S-Box. The Device Connection List view displays all configured S-Box devices. The user can delete, edit, and add new connections. The Device Information view displays cabinet layout settings by category. 1. Resolution displays the input source resolution information. 2. Viewport contains horizontal size, vertical size, video wall matrix, X position, and Y position settings. 3. LED signage cabinet shows the X and Y position of cabinet. The advanced options allow the user to edit the settings for dynamic contrast, black tone, flesh tone, RGB mode only, expert pattern, motion lighting, color space, and ABL. Picture mode, brightness, contrast, sharpness, tint, color temperature, gamma, and PIP setting. The basic power on-off allows the user to turn the power on or off and select the input source. The system settings allow the user to edit the settings for the auto power on, auto power off, standby control, network standby, energy saving clock set, DST, timer, and reset. The picture options allows the user to edit the settings for color tone, MPEG noise filter, HDMI black level, Film Mode, and Auto Motion Plus. Device Information Setting View displays the S-Box's settings by category, such as Source, Picture, Advance, etc. The Monitor window displays monitor communications and number of MDC packets sent. The log can be cleared or saved to a file. The LED Signage Cabinet displays the cabinet's IC and power information. The home window displays the information of connected devices, input sources, layout, and faulty devices. The input source section displays the S-Box's input source type, resolution, and time since last connection. The faulty device section displays the device's ID and fault type. The cabinet layout section displays the layout of all the LED cabinets, the number of cabinets, the number of connected cabinets, and the number of disconnected cabinets in the layout. The main window preferences options contains command retry count, error status interval in minutes, and temperature alter in degrees Celsius settings. The support section contains language, log backup export, faulty device alert with time in minutes, and mail setting, user password settings. The version section displays current version of the application, automatic updates, and check for update settings button. 